warning. This is this is not a review at all. Don't take this. Don't take anything that I say with even like the tiniest grain of salt. This is just me talking about stuff. I just watch other content creators. Content creators. And just get more of a, a mean on stuff on the topics I'm talking about. That's the end of the disclaimer. Yo, <laughs> what's up, all you asexual action figures? <laughs> this video is gonna be my attempt at culminating all the stuff that I've experienced while using Procreate and a couple of other things that I'm gonna mention later on basis of the video, not first impressions, this is my attempt at actually <laughs> sucking in information and then spewing it on both of these cameras, if that makes sense. Will it make sense? Probably not. Knowing me? Makes sense? That's a surprise! First thing I'm gonna get out of the way, in terms of the Apple Pencil, Scribble sucks. In my opinion, I came from using Windows Ink, having a little window that pops up that you can scribble into, and scribbling into small things on an iPad operating system just does not work for me. Because I have I have a really chonky handwriting. It does not take long for me to take up any space on the page. So I went searching and found a premium iPad app, as are most of them, apparently, because have to kind of pay for everything in the Apple ecosystem. It's called Handwriting, and it's a really crappy note-taking app, but it also just is a keyboard that you write into. It works. It's really fun to use. And I'll probably show an example of it maybe. Second thing on the list is that I got a paper light. The the weird screen thing. Again, if you want any in, any in-depth information about them, watch videos about it, but be careful. Be extremely careful. Because apparently in a lot of those videos they were paid to say crap like that. The good Oh wow, it's it's like paper! It is. It works like paper, but I watched a couple of other videos with pros and cons of different screen protectors or films or matte films. They actually did in like extremely like sort of tests on them and found that the paper like isn't as good as it's worth the price for. Which kind of sucks because I found that information out way too late. That's my fault for impulse buying because I didn't want to have to use a crappy iPad screen that's glass and trying and attempting to use like the, those little nibs you see with like that metal bit on the on the top that you would be concerned about scratching your screen up after a, a couple of days if you're a really crazy Procreate user, like myself from time to time. The paper light is okay. It's definitely not worth the price. If you got it during Christmas or like uh, some sort of discount time, I'm not sure when that is. That's that's probably the best the best time to buy it because otherwise it's it's not worth the thirty bucks. Until they actually improve whatever design flaw is going on compared to the other screens out there that just completely wipe the floor with them. It's not worth the price. From the looks of it, they're trying to improve whatever technology they're using for it. They're also doing like little snip things like these. These, I have the, the chonkier one on my, my Apple Pencil and it works. It's helped me actually keep a decent grip on my pen instead of it like whoop, slipping out like soap and also just my my use of it and keeping it on all the time and not throwing it away after the amount of time that I've that I've had using it it looks nasty <laughs> I don't honestly I don't really mind it I, I don't notice like the weird like scribbles if I'm not under the direct light <laughs> that's when it gets crazy but you'd be better off getting the Bellamon script. Bellymond or Bellamon screen. Apparently it's really good, but I haven't actually put it on yet because the paper like one works pretty well. I don't have I don't have a reason to swap it out yet. Until it gets to the point where the entire screen is just covered in scratches. 
and whenever I move that the whenever I move the screen around that it just like ah, and it reflects light everywhere, that's when I'm gonna replace it. And I'll try the Belmont screen and see how that works, and I might make a video about that. Maybe, maybe not. In terms of progression with Procreate, I feel like I've made really good progress. I've stuck with the Ethan Becker triangle thing. I haven't left it. I've used it even when I've done pose sketching and stuff, or gesture drawing, which is still kind of weird. I'm trying to figure out how you, how you can, like, really turn a person into, like, a, a swervy line. Pridus makes less sense to me with compared to geometrical shapes where it's hard edges, like humans, like my jaw. It's very triangular right here. And the same with this, it's like a trapezoid from this angle. So it's, for me, it's a lot easier to, to cut a person into geometrical shapes and then use those to then guide the rounder, less angular shapes, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, because I'm weird. The person I already showed you guys. Just a recap. Here's the image. Wow! That actually looks decent. And then here is... Two more that I've already got. Bam, bam! Those are new. And then we've got... Three... Well... Yeah, I'd say three. Two of them are more full body. The, the third one's more of like another profile pic idea. Here's one. Bah! They're still in the rough stages. I've got the basic pose ideas. I'm not sure about the third one though. It's kind of rough. I only made sure that it that the actual body stuck within like a square, so I'm not really adding any full bodies or anything to reference by basically. So that might make it a bit inaccurate and uncanny. But I don't want to have to draw an entire body draft just to make, you know, like a, a face. But it does make it a bit harder to figure out where stuff is position. And if you want to see any of the, the, at least the two complete pieces, I have two time lapses that I'm going to be uploading alongside this. You can check up here, I think, maybe, and then maybe I'll move one over there. Just watch those at your own leisure. I personally, honestly, after finishing the punk one, that looks amazing. I love it. I look so androgynous and I love my flowy hair. Yeah, that's that's it for this video. I hope the ones that stuck around past the five second mark actually enjoyed the ramblings. Again, even though this isn't a review, I hope that you got some information out of it and are now somewhat curious about a couple of the thing I, things I mentioned, being the handwriting app on iOS, possibly the Bellamon screen, and I don't feel like I mentioned it too significantly, but check out Paperlike's uh, tip grip. These things right here. It's not a screen, which is a plus, which they seem to they seem to do pretty good with with actual physical goods. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not gonna end this one on a weird note like I did the last one, and no weird editing stuff. Not even a jump scare. Do it. I'm compelled to do it, but I think it's probably not a good idea. <laughs>